Okay, so this is the purple manometer. It's going to be blue today. I'm about to fill it. I have diagrammed all the steps of construction of this thing. It's just a simple, what they call a YouTube manometer. And let's fill it up. So this one is here just for the purpose of filling from the bottom to avoid bubbles. There's some blue lightly salted water, which we're going to fill it with. And we probably want to fill it about halfway up because we need plenty of, plenty of range for, for pressure. I'm filling it slowly to avoid bubbles. That's about, about right. I'll choke it off right there. That's it. Some bubbles eventually. So a uh, little tour of it. Tube that comes from the pressure source to be measured two solid wall tubes in this very convenient plastic holder, a piece of silicone tubing to couple it to a T, and a stopped off silicone tube here for filling. Then there's a piece of copper to make that U down here, and we're going to use that for a electrical connection too, because this is used for making the, the overpressure alarm through electrical conductivity through the lightly salted water to one of these arms. Then there's a piece of silicone tube in which I've put some stainless steel scrub, scrubber stuff in order to slow down the, mo the motion of the water so that it doesn't bounce. You know, it, it settles to a, to a new level quickly without bouncing. And that's about it. That's the whole construction.